Hey, what's up guys? All right, so it's cold outside and we're gonna go ahead and fly around the neighborhood. We got the drone ready. I'm just waiting for satellite. I'm gonna go ahead and click on uh, the uh, screen record here so you guys can see what it looks like while I fly here. So hope you guys enjoy it. It's beautiful weather, semi sunny, not a lot of clouds. And let's take this bird up in the air and see what happens. Okay, so we are here inside the drone screenshots and I currently have 13 strong satellite which is good we're gonna go ahead and automatically take off we're gonna take get off. on the side so the drone doesn't get in crazy Now point has been updated please check it on the map right, we're gonna hover a little bit what I like to do is when the when I you know when I have when I get strong satellite I, and I take off I just like to hover there for maybe a minute minute and a half you know that way, just to see the drone is flying good, everything's good, and satellites continue to increase if you do that. So, there you go. Uh, it's not that windy here, so beautiful, beautiful day. Nonetheless, it's cold. I'm wearing my coat and my heated vest, so I should be good except for my fingers. I don't have any gloves. I forgot my gloves. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and increase our altitude. This is what my neighborhood looks like here. In Greenfield, Wisconsin. It's cold here in Wisconsin. Alright, so the drone is flying good. So guys, one thing uh, to note that as far as horizon tilt goes, uh, I notice on this type of drones, I noticed from watching other videos, is that it's a random issue that you know you either you get it and sometimes you don't get it so it's just very random um we're gonna go ahead and fly forward and hopefully my fingers don't get cold so this is what my neighborhood looks like we're gonna go ahead at 200 feet Let's keep it at 200 just in case you get anything Alrighty, I'm almost there. 200. So this is what my neighborhood looks like. It's beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. I noticed that the sun went down uh, just like 10 minutes ago. The sun was out and about. But I guess they got shy when they saw me. Alrighty. So these are... Just, you know, right now I'm not getting any horizon tilt. Like I said, it's a random issue. DJI said they were going to release a firmware update in January. Big update. So this is this is what it looks like for right now. It's doing pretty good. And, yeah, like I said, beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. I like it. I like it here. Despite that it's cold, but I like it. Moved uh, to Wisconsin uh, June of last year. And over there, if you guys are able to see, it's the Milwaukee. That's the downtown. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and I'm over here. So, like I said, you know, issues with these drones are very, as far as for mines, I really haven't seen much except for that random lightly horizon tilt. Other than that, it's perfect. Uh, like I said, I'm waiting for that um, update myself. They did release an update, and um, it did it did fix some issues. But like I said, we'll see what happens. All right, so there I am. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate uh, the gimbal settings because I did change my gimbal settings on this drone um, let me see where they are the compass we already did that so I think it's in control gimbal mode there we go so those are my settings for the gimbal until DJI fixes the issues with the horizon tilt so those are my issues right I mean those are my settings right now for the gimbal and I like to keep the drone in break mode I don't. I never really like doing using bypass. I just like to keep it in brake mode. I like my drone to stop where it's at before it hits anything. I don't like 
I don't like it to do things on, on its own, so I just keep it there. Uh, let me see, camera, these are my camera settings. I should switch to that. I wonder why it had it at H.264. Uh, I, I always kept it in H.265, so there's that. And guess what? I forgot to record. Let's go ahead and do that to pass again. It's funny because I know I'm, I'm recording in the screenshot, but I do get, I tend to forget to start recording on the drone itself. So let me go ahead and do another pass so I can show you guys what it looks like again. And you always want to have a visual line of sight. I can see the drone for where I am. I'm kind of like on top of a hill. Alrighty. So like I said, beautiful neighborhood. I'm kind of doing the same path I, t I did the, uh, before when I wasn't recording. Gray signal, by the way, gray signal. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and start heading back. I'm going to cut it short. My fingers are getting frozen. And there you go. Love going around that water tower too. It helps me practice with the, uh, with the orbit. It's, I do always kind of like do an orbit on it. We're currently at 200, and 200 feet, so that's good. I love flying around the neighborhood. Alrighty, 19 satellites, that's good. We're going to go ahead and increase it to 250 feet. I don't want to be the same height as the water tower. There you go. Let's go ahead and get closer. Alrighty. It helps me practice doing my turns. I love doing this. I love doing this type of turns and especially when I do it really nicely. That's a plus for me. Alright, so we're gonna go we'll go ahead and come down and my fingers are getting frozen, so I'm going to definitely do this very short. Uh, so I haven't had the opportunity to try the uh, master shot on this drone. I'm going to go ahead and do it right now to see if I get that slightly wobble. Very slightly too. Wasn't even by much. Alright, so the drone is on top of me. We are at 120 feet, well above the tree lines. And where am I? Alright, so I'm right there. I don't think the drone's going to recognize me since I'm too far. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and click stop recording. And we're going to go ahead and go to master shot. And click out of that. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and click Three, start. Three, two, one. My finger hurts. So the drone, supposedly the drone does that. Yeah, see I'm getting a slight wobble there not that severe compared to how I've seen them before. Very slightly, nonetheless. I mean, it doesn't bother me. I don't really use Master Shot. I'm just using it for demonstration purposes. But, um, other than that, I want, I, I, once it go, starts go, heading back, that's when it starts wobbling a little bit, but then after that, it's just everything runs smoothly. Oh my god, my fingers are in pain. So like I said, it's it's good. It's not doing anything weird besides the initial startup of the master shot. So Again, it's not something that bothers me. Uh, like I said, I, I don't use master shots. I don't. I I 
do basically everything manually. I rarely use the uh, active track as well, unless I'm doing like a perfect orbit. Other than that, I don't tend to use it, any of the automated um, modes that the drone has. Another thing that I tell users with this drone is that uh, the the active track it's nice it's very good but it's not perfect and I've seen people what bothers me sometimes is that I've seen people using use after tracks uh, well up uh, well below the tree line I was gonna say above well below the tree lines and that's why they are crashing their drones because again master shot it's nice but it's not perfect so that's why I'm like Ugh, yeah yeah you crash because you were using your drone well below the tree line so and master shot like i said it's not perfect it's just not perfect at all all right so i think this is the last part the drone should be returning back to its original place where it um where it started okay so now we're gonna go ahead and take the drone back let's get out of uh, master shot go back to video so I'm going to go ahead and take the drone back here. Sorry for that. Might get you dizzy. So I'm going to go ahead and take it over here. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to increase it to 100 and whatever feet. And I'm going to go ahead and click record. And then I'm going to bring it home. Go home. And let's see how the drone does and see if it lands perfectly on the landing pad. Alright, so we got the landing pad here. The drone is right there. Or, uh, yeah, there you go. The drone is right there and I'm going to get out of the way so that way I can let it do its thing. Guys, landing. remember... When you're doing this, keep your hand always on the pause button in case of anything. So there's the drone and we'll see what it does. Oh, it auto-corrected itself. I'm not touching anything. I just got my finger right here just in case of anything. And yeah, looks like a touchdown. That's not bad at all. So I've, I've seen it well center before. I, I've gotten that lucky. So that's perfect. And we landed. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. And check out my YouTube channel if you have a chance. I'm going to go ahead and link it on the right above or on top, wherever. But just check out the YouTube channel, guys. Later.